Good morning, brother and sister. Doug White down here in Alabama. How's everybody doing this morning? Had a big rain last night. Well, anyway, uh, I wanted to bring to you this uh, this uh, very subtle deception that's been going around. I've been seeing on the internet. I don't know if it's being done, you know, I don't know who, you know, if it's just a, a planned thing or just people that are, uh, I don't know if it's wolves or I don't know if it's, uh, you know, God's people that are ignorant, that, but they bring it to you like this. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. Now, what does that imply? Of course, they add this word only when they put it in there. But what does that imply? It's, a, it's true. Jesus is the only way. But what does that entail? What does that make you want to uh, do? Well, if I was a, a baby <laughs> child of God, you know, one that hadn't, you know, I know how it used to make me feel. <laughs> Let's put it that way, back when I was real, real young. It used to make me feel like, well, if Jesus is the only way, I better, I better find him real quick and uh, do something with it. Make me, you know, something to do. What is it, it entails something to do, say. Jesus is on the way, say. Very subtle, very subtle things. Half-truths that come out, you know, when men are attempting to bring the so-called gospel. But Jesus is the only way. Of course, yes, he's the only way. If anybody gets to heaven... It's going to be the him that does it. It's not going to be you that, that figures it out <laughs> or or uh, does anything to merit it. And that's the subtlety behind that little phrase. I just wanted to bring it out to you because what did it say right here? It says, For as the Father raised up the dead and quickeneth them whom... Start that over. John 5.21, For as the Father raised up the dead... And quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth, quickeneth whom he will. Whoever Jesus wants to uh, bring to life, quicken and bring to life, he will do it. You know, you notice it says that uh, all the Father, it says, he chastened those he loves. So whoever he loves, he will bring to life. He will do all that needs to be done. Jesus will. So Jesus is the only way. That's my message this morning. He's the only way. But uh, you can relax out there because uh, he's not going to lose one of his sheep. Not one of them. But I just saw somebody talking about that this weekend and on the internet and uh, came on one of the programs. And he said everything just right. He knew the earth was a... Uh, Flat stationary plane. He knew. He knew all about the, the all the uh, fake news and fake space and everything else. But then he put his religion in there, which is the biggest deception of all. Say, you know, that's one of the biggest deception. That is the biggest deception that the will of man can thwart the will of God. Say, that's the bill. That's the big deception, bigger than a uh, flat Earth, bigger than anything else. The will of man can veto the will of God. So that's one of the deceptions I wanted to bring out there to anybody out there listening. Jesus is the only way deception. So that's what I'm going to call this video, I think. Jesus is the only way. Well, I believe he's the only way. If anybody gets to heaven, it's going to be because the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. And all the Father gave Jesus which is, if you ever listen to my channel, a great multitude no man can number. And the only way it got that way is because God is rich in mercy. That's the only way. But anyway, just want to bring that one little deception uh, to you this morning so that my, anybody that listens to me out there will have a heads up on it. Okay? And uh, let's see if anything else I want to say.
that's going to be all for this little video. That's going to be all I'm going to say about this one. Except that uh, those he loves, he chastens. See, brothers and sisters, that, what that says right there, those that he loves, he chastens. That's telling you that there's some that he does not love. Until we get that in our heads, the Bible's not going to make any sense. But uh, those he loves, he chastens. But thank God he loved a great multitude that no man can number. And uh, <laughs> no man could number, like the sand by the seashore, like the stars of the sky. So the good thing about it is that God is a good God. <laughs> and it, it is, uh, he has great love, not and not small love. He's rich in mercy, not poor in mercy, they brother and sister. That's the good news about this little thing. I'll put, break it out. But no, I saw this fellow on the internet. Might have been a brother, you know, sound like he was. Knew everything except for this one thing. That uh, we don't choose God. He chooses us. But anyway, peace and love, Miss Old Boy down here in Alabama. And I'll get back with you if God shows me something else. If he don't, it might be a long wait before I get back on here. Because I don't want to be piling up brush. Peace and love, Miss Old Boy down here in Alabama.